Hello guys and welcome to the channel. I hope that you are all doing good. I'm hoping that no one can write about it. So today, you know me guys, I love to look at the teenage sensation. I love to look at the young players. I always talk about Abom Fuking. We talked about Abom Tutuzi Shabalala before, before they even made it there. Abom Samgelo and we talked about them before they made it, you know, to the first team. <laughs> about obrigado there's a lot of young players that are coming i recently i talked about um, one fit boy yeah with boy you know surprise Rani, who's also amazing you know so this time i want us to talk about this player because he's just 15 years old and he is hey guys he is moving like honestly case achieves sensational player neo botoku is the name guys in the last six games this player has scored a total of eight goals in the DTC. This is why we love DTC, guys. We are able to get players, develop them, they improve, we promote them. That's why you are seeing now I'm fucking playing for Paris. That's why you are seeing now I'm a player from La Pena playing for Sundowns. That's why you're seeing players like, like I said, Mtutuzi Shabalala, Wandile Tuba. They are coming for the first team. You know, so it's very good. Even Stellan Posh is doing well. Super Sports United is doing amazing. Like, I love to look at those players, guys, because I think they are good. So please, before we go to that, don't forget to click the like, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell. It really goes a long way to help this channel to grow. I also want to react to some of the comments. The boy is amazing. You know, last six games, he's been great. Yesterday, Kaiser Chiefs won 2 0 and he gets a brace. You know, yeah. I, I can't say much, you know, they've been amazing. He's been amazing. Eight goals in the last six games and he's coming up, guys. So let me just look at two, three comments about him. But I just want you guys to know there's this player that needs to be grounded. There's this player that we need to nurture. There's this player that must be protected. He is coming right okay, you know. Um, I see, I see Ukomo, so unfortunately, he will be forced to be a bold boy to his peers now. Come on, guys, there's nothing wrong about being a bold boy. I recently talked about Jablan Mokune, who is also amazing for Pirates, you know, playing as a defender. You saw him in the Black Label Cup, in fact, even in Fundo Filagas. Those players have been bold boys, and it gives you experience. You're able to observe and watch. The players you're able to watch with Inami one day, I want to make it to the stage. So I don't necessarily think it's a bad thing. I know what this person is talking about, what happens to players like Puso Dute Chane. Yeah, I think that was a talent that Chiefs really lost. But, you know, a team like Chiefs loves players that behave, that have respect, and that respect the badge. So it is what it is. They wanted him to be a bold boy, and then I, don't, I think there was a, a, a problem there. And then they ended up letting him go. But I think... Kaiser Chiefs is doing well with their development. They are bringing up great players. For example, look at Njabula Plom. He's just amazing. So, just, yeah, guys, I, I don't want to say much really. You know, Puso, this player uh, has been amazing and he's coming up. So, watch out. And, yeah, man, I just want to give the, put this video here because I know that one day I'm going to come back and make a reference to say, Neo Botloko, I made the video about him. Look where he is now. I love that. And may he keep it up. He's still young. There's still a lot that he can still do. And well done to Chiefs once again. Can they please just protect the player and let him grow? He's going to be a big player one day. And it starts now. 